Hey everybody, welcome to a special review of Thundercats figures. So we're going to start with, and if you've noticed, there's a different little sofa there. It's not mine, I'm actually at Steve's house right now. That's Steve's film. Yep. <laughs> and we're going to review his Thundercat figures. So we're going to start with villains. So yep. here we go, what we're going to start with then. Right, so obviously here we've got Mumra the Ever-Living. Most popular villain, I guess. Yes, he is. Um, obviously, if you knew Thundercats, you know who Mumra is. Very iconic villain. You know, obviously the main antagonist, is it? They, they call yeah. Him? Yeah, yeah, I think that's what they call him. So this is the figure. Now, this obviously I bought this one from eBay. So he's he's very very loose. He's um he's action. I, think, I don't think he's action works all that well. Oh, it sort Not of bad. works. Not bad. Still sort of For still a, some twenty movement. odd year old. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Figure. Though it is sort of hard to make it operate with his head. Um. Headpiece and with his headgear in the way, yeah. And he does look a bit weird without it. He does look a bit weird without it. <laughs> now, of course, as most of you may know, the um, Mumra figure and the Lino figure had like special power rings that, yeah. if you put in to this little spot here, the eyes would light up. Yeah, you don't got the power ring, have you? Unfortunately, no, I don't. In I fact, had the even the um, even the sword that I do have is broke, <sighs> but. It's better but than nothing. Did you get eBay though? <laughs> yeah, it does. It only cost me like 50p. But, for, you know, it's aging and it's in very good condition. Usually, 20 years later or something, they're scratched to hell. Kind yeah. Of thing, but it's not a bad condition. No. Still not. got all this colour, still got its paint. Yeah. Arm looks a bit loose. It is. But it's not bad. It's really good. Yeah. Um, This is one I didn't actually have when I was a kid. I'm pretty sure I didn't have Mumra the Ever Living. I had the, um, the actual just Mumra in the yeah. red cloak and stuff. But... It's a really cool design though, I do like it, but I find his face very creepy. <laughs> yes, it is sort of, it doesn't really look too much like yeah. the um, cartoon. I mean, I've got some of the newer ones as well, upstairs for Nathan, hmm. for when he's older, and obviously the, the sculpting on a lot, of, a lot of figures now have vastly improved, yeah, so they look exactly lot. like it. But I mean, you can tell who it is though. Yeah, you know who it is. You know. So it's not bad. Yeah. It's you know it's, I think he's a. Is there anything right. missing off him? Like, um, other anywhere. than his power ring, and I think I think his sword is meant to be a little bit longer. That's all. I think yeah. that's it actually. Oh, that's not bad then. No. It looks like there should be something else. I don't know why though. They might actually be. You know. I think I'm just thinking mostly of He-Man figures because usually Did you get it? some sort of battle armor at the front. I'm just thinking of that. Yeah. I think. But no. Yeah. I like I like Mumra. Yeah, I think he's ace. And that, okay. that does come off, doesn't it? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he comes off. Okay. He looks even weirder when he's uh He does look odd, he... bold, and it's got nice little details and stuff. You got the snake things each side of the helmet and everything. Yeah, it's not bad. I like it. Did he actually wear that in the cartoon? I don't remember that. It does have like that. something like that, but it doesn't look as um, it doesn't look like that. Hmm. But he does wear something very similar. It is like a sort of a helmet. Yeah. In the cartoon. It is cool. I like yeah. it. So yeah, that is the first figure is Mumra, the ever living. <laughs> okay, so we go next. It's the next one. Obviously, is another iconic character. One of my favourites. Slive. Absolutely love Slive. I think he's ace. And that, to me, that's an amazing sculpt of him. It is. Yeah, some of the characters, some of the um, sculpts are quite hit and miss. Mm. But I find that a lot of the mutants tend to be quite. Good. It's like a lot of work's going into that. To me, I, I know it sounds a bit over the top, but his sculpt's so good. It's more like a figurine. Yeah. You see it as a figurine rather than just a t like a toy. Yeah. It's really, really nice. Let's have a look at his action feature. And his action feature. Oh, he's, he's still got it. He's still got it. <laughs> like he's so running. obviously, we must be missing an axe or some sort of weapon there. Yes, he does. He has I'm a. Sure it was an axe, wasn't it is an axe, yeah. yes. It, it is like a really long axe. So I definitely had Sly, if I remember. Yeah. Having it. So For some reason though, my slide look maybe it's because I was smaller, though, but I'm sure mine was smaller. But there was probably loads of variant figures. Though, there was. There? I mean, he did have several different paint jobs, um, yeah. and this one he's sort of like winking. Yeah. And there is other versions where he's not. He's got his eyes wide open. I, I, my slide was definitely a bit smaller than this guy, but I absolutely love the way he looks. He mm. looks brilliant. He is very chunky, and he's got his hunch back and. You know, he's he's um. I think this is one of the figures that sort of get away with the action feature because his lever is a spike on his back. Yeah. Whereas the others, it's quite obvious that it's a big, massive lever. Yeah, they've <laughs> done it really well. Where, yeah. Whereas this one, it blends in. I think he looks perfect. He looks so good. Yeah. 
So yeah, hopefully you're getting it on the camera, but the colour it might look a bit grey on yeah. the camera, but he's he's really really nice green colour, like swampy kind of green colour. Yeah, he is. He is very swamp, so swamp thing like, isn't he? You know, especially with his ears as well. Yeah. You know, quite traditional like sort of swamp monster sort of ears, yeah. isn't it? I love him. I think yeah. he looks brilliant. So okay, so that's slime. That is slime. This next one is a character that I really liked. Is uh, I didn't really like as a figure. But, oh, not as as in the cartoon, but I like as a figure as as a figure, <laughs> Jackalman. Now he's not exactly like he is in the cartoon. I mean, his snout's a lot smaller. Yeah. But I mean, he's still quite a good build. He is missing an armor. He has like a, a shoulder oh, pad yeah, there does, he, yeah. that goes across, and I'm, I'm missing his club. Um, he's still got his action feature. It's not but, as good as um. Slives, but it's a no. bit, you know, it's, it's all right though. I mean, he snouts a bit, he looks a bit plain looking yeah. in terms of his face, but it's still got a little bit of detail in and there. And again, you can tell who it is. Oh, yeah, you know, you know, it's Jackalman. Yeah, so he doesn't look bad. I, don't, I wouldn't say he's, um, the sculpt is as good as Slives, but no, you know, it's still okay. You still got the detail and every little bit of fur on top of him and stuff like that. Yeah, no, especially yeah. on his snout as well. Yeah, if you look so there, like, not a bad sculpt still. No, it is, it's quite a good one. It's just that they probably. I don't, know, I don't know why they didn't make this night a little bit bigger. Maybe they had a problem with it. I have no idea, but he, he's okay. Yeah, he's not he's bad. Right. So, who have we got next? Next, we have one of the ones that's quite actually disappointing for me. Um, and that's Monkeyan. Oh, good old Monkeyan. I don't think he's all that great, really, to be honest. Um, I don't think he looks... I mean, he, he probably looks a bit more like him... He looks a bit like evil. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't really look like Monkeen on there. I think Monkeen yeah. had quite a quite a, a clear ape-like face, whereas he actually looks like more like a monster. He looks he could kind have been of any other kind of. He looks a kind thing. of similar to like a yeah. snarling jackalman. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, he doesn't really look like a monkey. I can't say. Yeah, if you compared him to the picture of like Monkeen, hopefully I'll put a picture of um, Monkeen like round here somewhere or something, but. No, I don't think the sculpt's as good. He just looks a bit weird. He looks more like a werewolf. Yes, yes. It's I mean, kind of strange. The, the the helmet, which is not very the well The helmet fitting. being on helps a bit, but... Yeah. But it's, <laughs> it's a quite a, an odd shape. Yeah. I mean, look, it looks a bit weird on him as what well. What weapon is he supposed to have? Is it a club as well? No, I think it's a... Um, it's it is sort of a club, but it's the one with the ball on the end, um, like with, the, with the spikes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what are they called? Morningstar. Yes, oh, yes, yes. Wow. He has one of them. I can't remember if he had it, had it as a figure actually. I can't remember, but I know that's what that's what his weapon was. Does he have any armor or anything? Or is that uh, it? No, that's it. He's quite. His helmet and weapon. Just his helmet and his weapon. Has he got an action? Um, we tried it. Ooh, it was a big action actually. Yeah, just one arm. Not it bad. kind of flies all over the place, but yeah, it's not yeah, too so bad. The sculpt, yeah, it's, yeah, it's not great. It doesn't look. Amazing. No. <laughs> Still, I'm sticking with Slive up to now. Yeah, I'm I think Slive's <laughs> obviously the winner out of the mutants anyway. Yeah. So then next we have the uh, the inventor of the group. One of my favourites. Vulture Man. I love Vulture Man. He's actually only one, the only one um, of the Thundercat figures I've actually, I actually own at the moment. Yeah. Hopefully my collection's going to get bigger, but um, yeah, I had this guy as a kid and absolutely <laughs> loved him. I love the, um, the, the design, the look of him, and yeah. I think he looks great. Again, he looks like... Yeah. He does in the car too. I think doing a great this is quite a good one, this one. Yeah. And, and again, he's got the normal action. They've all got a generic, just arm flailing action thing. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember what weapon he would have had. Again, his is a sort of like a really long. I'm sure his is like a really long axe sort of thing. I, can, I can't remember. I can't remember. Was there it, anything else with him? Uh, uh, actually, it's like a real. It's like a thing with like a three pl prong claw like that. Okay. It's, it is like a. It is like a vulture's claw, and it's on like a long. Um, I don't remember that at all. Staff. I'm sure I've got something that's like that, it looks but like. I absolutely love them. And it's, it's nice, all the details, like every little bump on yeah. them, stuff like the feathers and things. Yeah, that's good, looking. Yeah. yeah. And he's just got a great look on his face as well. Yeah, he does. He was one of my favourites as a kid, like, of the villain um, toys. Yeah, he was good. It's kind of just like the little addition of just having a little dagger yeah. there and everything like that. It's part of his armour. It's lovely. It is, yeah. One thing, though, I can't actually remember him properly from the cartoon, and I don't know why. He wasn't really he wasn't massively... He wasn't He wasn't one of the main... Music. Yeah. He, well, he, he was, but he like in every episode you'd get Monkey and Jackalman and yeah, Slive, yeah, yeah. whereas he was part of it, he wasn't always in it. And he was more... He's actually more associated with our next figure, 
which is Rataro. I remember this guy. Now, I think this one's actually a really good one. I'm missing his tail, but his tail was one of them you just plug in and you can move around. But I, I think... never got them as a kid, why they did the plug-in tail thing. No. Why well, they could just go missing. So yeah, they so could. Easily. I mean, he's, he's got rotatable... Uh, whiskers. Whiskers. <laughs> so for some reason, if you were in like that, you could do. <laughs> um, and he had two little daggers with, with eyes in them, which he used quite a bit in the... I think he's he he mainly in the movie. Yeah. Um, with his ship, the Rat Star, I think, which he flew around with Vulturemen. Uh, he so. doesn't look bad. He's got a bit no. of a paint job thing going on there, a bit scratched up, but yeah. you get that with um With age. With, yeah, with age and stuff. But I mean, but he's quite colourful. Yeah, he is. He is very colourful. Green and orange and a bit of brown in there. You can see his eyes, his evil, evil yeah, eyes. Yeah, it's not a bad sculpt at all. No. Nice. See, now he's got, he's got quite a long snout, and I think that's what... Like we were saying, what was we missing with Jackalman? Yeah, so if you they know. can do it with him, why didn't they just yeah. do it with Jackalman? Well, that, I think he might have come a lot later, so... Yeah, I guess. But, um, it was... Yeah, but, I mean, I suppose, though, if they didn't do a long snap, he wouldn't look much like a rat. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, I mean, he's quite a good character. He's quite a good build as well. He's quite solid. No, he looks good. I like him. Yeah. Even the feet look dead good. Yeah, the feet as well. He's very rat-like feet. So, yeah. No, it's just too bad we're missing the tail. It is, yeah. So that's obviously out of the main mutants. Now the, the other ones I have to show you. Oh, actually, before we move off from the mutants, I don't know if you remember Marmot, <laughs> um, Mumra's loyal pet, and he was a flying dog. I think I had him as a kid. He was in the movie. It doesn't look anything like he does in the cartoon. But he doesn't look bad as a figure. No, he doesn't. He he does look quite. He, he looks mean. Yeah. You know. He's obviously not a much movement. He can move his arms and his leg. Can did he, he come as just a separate figure? You did, yeah. All he can do is move his arms and his legs sure a little I'm. bit. Did he come with anything? Or did it I, just literally just that? I think it literally does this. Yeah. Must so. be cheap. <laughs> I think it would have been. I think it was like in the same sort of um, bracket of snarf. Because yeah, he's more like, just rather than a figure, he's more like an accessory to another figure, really. He he's is, yeah. He's a pet, isn't he? So, yeah. like snarf would be. He is literally just a little sidekick pet thing. Yeah. He's, he's nice though. I like he can't him. move his head or anything. He's, he's he's a very limited figure. He's yeah, but not a bad sculpt again. He's no. nice. He's cool looking, and um, yeah, he looks mean. He does. He does look very mean indeed. So then, of course, the next one is a not very well known figure, but he is in one of my favourite episodes. I don't know if you've ever seen the episode with Safari Joe. I do not recognise Safari Joe. <laughs> Safari Joe is someone who comes to Third Earth. Um, and actually hunts down the Thundercats and what he does is that he studies them by the weakness. So he's like a big game hunter. So like, you know, you obviously get people who hunt lions and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. That's what he basically is. Okay. And um he manages to take out nearly all the Thundercats bar Lion O. Yeah. Um, he I think he um he attaches like these little bracelets that lift Tara up in the air so she can't move. He drowns uh, tries to drown Tigra because he's scared of water. <laughs> he um tricks panthro who's scared of bats um he captures the the thundercat twins but then he tries to beat lino and lino beats him nice and sends him so i don't know. recognize it all, but it has been quite a long time since i've properly watched all the thundercat series i'm trying to trying to get through them all now but yeah yeah there's a lot of episodes it's one of my favorite it was one of my favorite episodes is this like a later season or um no it's actually um about middle so it's, hard, it's kind of hard because there's only two seasons of Thundercats. Yeah, but there's but a lot there's of like, There's like 150 yeah. episodes in, in both our seasons. It was very popular. But yeah, he's quite a good character. in, in the, He's only in one episode, but yeah. he was a good... Nice. I, I remember the other characters that they were were things like Captain Shiner and Captain Cracker, but I don't have them anymore. Yeah. Um, so that is the villains. That that's is the mutants, all the villains yes. and mutants and stuff. So well, we do, have, we do have some more villains. We do. We do.